All right, guys, so let's have a look at the properties of elements. How would we describe an element? What could we use to describe it? Now, basically, our properties are those which we would use to identify it or classify it. So let's look at the, the basic physical properties of elements. What are they? First off, there is the melting point. The melting point is the temperature that at one atmosphere or 100 kilopascals, it will go from a solid to a liquid. The boiling point is the lowest temperature at which a liquid will then vaporize or turn into a vapor, giving, and this is important, 100 kilopascals of pressure. So if it was in a balloon, it would be pushing out 100 kilopascals. In other words, the lowest temperature that you could turn something into a vapor and have it sit at roughly the same pressure as the air. It would mix in with the air just fine. Um, density is the mass of substance per unit, so divided by unit of volume. And we measure this in grams per centimeters cubed, not milliliters, not liters, centimeters cubed, grams per centimeter cubed. By the way, these are all uh, measured in degrees Celsius or centigrade if you're so inclined. Um, then we have the electrical conductivity. This is how much electrical current will be transmitted through a unit cube at one volt and so and give a push of one volt and we measure this in milli siemens per meter so milli siemens per meter um, and the last one is thermal conductivity this is the rate at which heat energy is transferred through a unit cube so you get the cube you're heating it at one end and measuring it here and here so it's, it's how fast the heat transfers through that cube um, to give a temperature difference of one Kelvin. One Kelvin equals one degree Celsius. Um, now, a one Kelvin is like minus 270 something, but a change in one Kelvin is a change in one degree Celsius. Um, the unit is joules per second, per meter, per Kelvin. That's the unit. Um, so let's have a quick look at these. We've got several elements here. We've got a metal, a non-metal, a metalloid, or semi-metal, whatever you want. Um, so the melting point we'll see is 1085, 1114, oh, sorry, 114. Um, boiling point, again, so there's a big difference between the metal and the non-metal. The, uh, the semi-metal is actually higher up there. It's even higher than this metal. Um, density, um, again, this is much denser than either of them, really. Uh, that would be solid iodine. The electrical conductivity of this is much higher than both of these. So copper is a much better electrical conductor than it is, than iodine for sure, or silicon. Now, we actually use silicon in chips. It, it's not a great conductor, but it's a semiconductor. Um, then we have thermal conductivity. Again, um, iodine does not transfer heat very well, whereas copper really does and silicon's man, it's not so bad at it all right any questions um, put them in the comments below we'll get back to you as quick as we can and yeah thanks for hanging around we'll see you next time